All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be about uh, USGS Earth Explorer and how you can download some useful DEM files and create 3D elevation maps. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get started. So, basically, we're at Earth Explorer GIS or Earth Explorer USGS. Uh, you used to still need to create an account, as I mentioned in a previous video. But basically, once you create an account, you can just use many of the features for the following. So, first off, we want to define a search area. Now, we went over to Polygon, we have four coordinates here. Now, normally, if you click on a coordinates, it will just basically add a vertex, but it looks like USGS is a little bit buggy right now, and if I add another vertex, for example, well, actually, that wasn't buggy, but if you had some sort of, if you were starting from scratch, at least as of earlier today, if you drew coordinates, then it wouldn't actually draw a polygon even if you selected polygon. So, fortunately, we have this polygon here. Now, once we have our coordinates selected, we want to go over to our data sets. Because we have this area selected, we're going to be looking at the various uh, DEM files that come with it, so I'll just minimize that. So once we have our area selected, we want to go to Digital Elevation, we go to SRTM. Make sure we have SRTM 1 arc second global. This will give us a very high resolution photo. So we'll, we'll do this, we can click Results. And it'll give us four DEM files that will basically cover our, our basic area of interest. So we can just click that. That's one footprint. It will be covered partially, it covers part of our area. We have a second, a third, and a fourth. So you can see that each of these quadrants there are four specific quadrants that basically kind of cover this area. Now what you can do is you can download any of these. I'm just going to click download here. What you generally want to do is you generally want to download the GeoTIFF 1 arc second. And so once you download it, it will start downloading. Now I'm not going to download it because I already have a similar GeoTIFF basically open on QGIS. So we close that. So I forgot about this, so we're gonna delete this for now. Delete this for now. Let's just go start from start from the bottom. So basically, uh, once you um once you found this, the uh, the download should be something like N43 World 120 110 for you to the same um, file name or basically the same GeoTIFF. So basically what you want to do is, of course, we remove this. OK. We want to just drag and drop this here. We have OSM staring in the background. What I want to do is we want to create a polygon. So I'm going to click Vector. We're going to do Polygon Test 2. Jeremy to try Polygon. I just select OK. It already exists because I done the test one uh, so far, so we'll go click yes. And then we're gonna go to edit, polygon. And because I have a rectangle select here, it's gonna draw a rectangle wherever I put it, so I'm just gonna use the rectangle for now. So select that. I'm just gonna select a rectangle. And of course, ID, we're just gonna put in one because it's not important. Then we have to go over to our polygon. We have to save layer as. Save later edits. Then we're going to go to clip. We type in clip in our processing toolbox. Our input layer is going to be N43. I don't know why we have OSM standard on there, but you could, if you wanted to see where it is, is exactly, you put in OSM standard somewhere else. We click run. We have the clip layer met. So basically, what we can do is we can just get rid of the poly, uh, uh, unselect polygon test 2. We go to the properties of clip mask layer. Or if we want to show the elevation, we want to so show something like pseudo color, single band, or not single band, but pseudo band, pseudo color. I'll generate these random values, well, not exactly random values, but basically the value, color, uh, scale, and so forth. We can fool around with the color ramp as much as you want, as I mentioned in another video about color ramps. But yeah, we're just going to click apply. And you can see here our um, clipped DEM. Has, uh, has some coloration to it. And again, once we have this, what we want to do is we want to go to web, Qt3js. Now, if you don't have Qt3js, you can just go over to plugins, manage control, or manage plugins, click on all, so it's Qt3js to 3js. Okay, it's going to be right here. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it, so I'm going to click close. What we want to do is we want to go to our web, Qt3js, Q3GIS exporter. We want to click select clipped mat and N43. 
Now basically what we want to do is we want to flip flip the um, polygon layer. This thing up. Well, first off, I should mention so we have our now sort of elevation map. We have the black area a little bit, and we have this sort of white um, kind of blank space open. So basically, what you want to do is you want to get rid of them. You want, just want to get this sort of red, sort of colored square. So we'll do is we'll click properties on our normal DEM layer, not our clip layer. Uh, we're going to go for clip DEM with polygon layer. Because when we have one polygon, we have polygon test two. So click apply. So click OK. I basically just created this 3D map of it now. I'm going to go to clip layer again. Polygon test two. And here we have our regular. Uh, yeah, so here we have our uh, regular DEM layer. It's put into a 3D uh, model format. Um, once you get this again, it's sort of, you, you have a model here and you can just change the coloration. For example, if you want to go back to layers, for example, you just click properties and so forth. Again, we're on symbology, but, uh, yeah, this is basically how you create a basic 3D model in QGIS using DMs downloaded from Unos GS Earth Explorer. Um, if there's anything I missed, I'll probably include it in a separate video or a later video, maybe sometime this or next week. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for modeling in 3JS. I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Please like, comment, leave, and subscribe. <laughs> Please leave, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.